So today we've got a charge controller from Red Odo. Let's open it up. So same kind of template installation instruction that we saw in the lead time one. We've got a product manual. So this is a 40 amp, 12 or 24 volt MPPT charge controller. Mounting hardware. Temperature probe. And here is the charge controller. I think it's quite gorgeous. It's got that nice light blue with the uh, soft touch. Uh, white heat sink on the back. It's like a um, powder coated finish. Uh, again, it says it'll do 12 or 24 volts. 40 amps has a 100 volt maximum input. It'll do 600 watts at 12 volts and 1200 watts at 24 volts. All right, well, let's hook this up and try it out. All right, so we're gonna hook this up to Red Odo's 100 amp hour mini battery. All right, it's booting up. So let's get the app. Okay, so we're gonna search for Red Odo, Red Odo tools. Yeah, okay, I think this is it right here. Let's install that. Let's see if we can find it. Allow. Oh, you know, look, this might be why we couldn't find the lead time one because it looks like this list doesn't go all the way down. But if you scroll here, I bet we find it. What would be the name of this one? This BTROCC2240, I guarantee that's it. <laughs> I think that's it. Yep, there it is. So their Bluetooth app does work. So let's hook up some solar. Okay. And right off the bat, we've got 58.2 volts. And immediately the solar light is on here. And I believe we're charging. Yeah, we're charging with 26 amps, 21 amps. Now I think I'm gonna to have to discharge this battery some because I think it's pretty much full. Oh, wait a minute, we're getting 38 amps right there. Yeah, so it's the current starting to kind of go up and down. I think I'm gonna hook up an inverter the, to this battery and pull some power down. And you know how I'm always saying, throw away the cables that come with your inverter? Well, here's a good option for good cables. Check these big boys out. These are two gauge silicone 200 Celsius wire with the lugs that are hydraulically crimped on and these are made by alpha and they're a really good price i've got the two foot ones and i've got the one foot ones so let's try the two foot ones this is the same company that makes this inexpensive inverter that seems to be running pretty well Yeah, so check out those big beefy two gauge copper wires. I'll put a link in the description for you guys to check it out, but this will be easy. If you're buying an inverter, and of course, a lot of times the inverter comes with just horrible wires that you really shouldn't use. Uh, these are a solid option. And here's the one foot ones as well. So you, they sell a two foot and a one foot. All right, so we got that inverter hooked up. I'm gonna hook the this AC up to it, and we're gonna pull some some power off this battery so we can get the most charge possible. All right, let's see if we start putting power back in this battery. So it looks like the app is like hung up. 
because I've got 13.3 volts right there and this is showing 13.8 yeah I don't I don't think the app is responding let's try this again okay there it is yep there we go pushing 39 amps might actually have to hook up one more panel to get the full 40 we're doing 534 watts let me go hook up another panel and see if we can push this thing to the absolute max okay there we go we're doing the 40 amps 555 almost 560 watts at 12 volts that's pretty rad let's turn the AC up a little bit more so we can suck some more power out of that battery all right so I'm just gonna let this run for a little while and make sure it basically can just sit there and maintain that 40 amps all right, so this thing has been running for like about 30 minutes. It's been cranking along just fine. Now, I wanna see if it works with this Charge Pro 2 software from Helios, which appears to be the manufacturer of, of all these. And see, its list actually works a lot better. And there it is right there. And there we go. So yeah, it is showing uh, 40 amps, 39.8 amps. Uh, it's charging. This might actually end up just being a better app to use until these guys get their apps uh, more, more refined. I do like the font sizes on their app because it seems a, bit, a little bit larger, but it seemed like the app becomes uh, non-responsive to the charge controller after a little bit of time. Whereas this one, when I used it on the lead time, it was pretty solid. Okay, so what I wanna do right now is I want to measure the power going in and the power going out to try to figure out an inefficiency. Uh, I'm pretty sure when we did this with the lead time, it was like, it came out to be about 97%. Okay, so we've got 40 amps leaving at 13.5 volts. So that equals about, uh, says 540 watts there. We got 540 coming out. Let's figure out what we got going in. We got 8.7 amps coming in at 68.5 volts. So we're showing 540 going out and then 595.95 coming in. All right, so let's figure out what that efficiency level is. Okay, this one's a bit showing a little bit lower. It's showing an efficiency of 90. So 90.6. Oh, and this one does do 20 amps on the load output as well, just like the 60 amp version of the lead time. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it. That's pretty much the full review of the Redodo. 40 amp MPPT charger. It seems to be a real solid unit. I really do like seeing a full product line coming out of these companies, not just batteries. They've, they've got batteries, they've got charge controllers. I'm seeing some where they have inverters. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments, your likes, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.